caused, mm -hmm. uh, not just to portions of Texas, but also to portions of Mexico, the Yucatan Peninsula, and of course the Windward Islands. Uh, but it did make landfall, as we mentioned earlier, at about 454 as a Cat 1. So that has sustained winds of about 80 miles per hour. And normally with hurricanes, the most intense part of a hurricane is the upper right quadrant of the hurricane. So you can see that the heavier rain bands are now traveling through Galveston up towards Houston, just to the south of College Station. Uh, but as we take a look at this latest radar loop, look at all this heavy rain just wrapping around this storm system. Victoria is seeing some light rainfall, but that's really not the case for spots farther eastward. But here's the latest track from the National Hurricane Center. So dangerous storm surge, strong, very strong, intense wind gusts. And of course, flash flooding is going to be the top concerns for folks across southern portions of Texas. It will weaken to a tropical storm later today, uh, eventually becoming a remnant low. So it loses a lot of its tropical characteristics as it travels through Arkansas and as it makes its way northeastward. But later on this week, we could see some of the remnants of this storm system as it travels as a lot of that tropical moisture hovers over portions of the Ohio River Valley. But today we're not seeing any tropical moisture. We will be dealing with the heat and the humidity. That's going to be the big story. Heat index values could climb near 105 degrees for spots north and west of the Chesapeake Bay. So we will have those heat advisories that go into effect starting at noon today. Right now, not dealing with triple digit heat index values or even uh, temperatures in the 90s, which is what we will experience later today. We are hovering in the 70s across the board feeling warm and muggy already. So this calls for an iced cup of coffee. 93 degrees. That's how it could be feeling right around the 10 o'clock hour. And then our heat index values just soar after lunchtime, feeling like 102 degrees right around the two o'clock hour. Temperatures will be right around 96 during that time. I am forecasting a high temperature today of 98 degrees. So that's only two degrees shy of the old record value of 100 set back 12 years ago. But yes, it could be feeling as warm as 105 degrees out there, possibly feeling like 106 tomorrow afternoon, 103 for Wednesday, and we keep daytime highs in the mid to upper 90. So it's so important to find ways to beat this heat, get some of those outdoor chores done, or even that run done during the coolest part of the day. So either early in the morning or later towards the evening. High pressure is in control. That's keeping us dry and quiet, but we are tracking some showers located to our south. There is the chance of a pop up shower thunderstorm to the south of the metro later this afternoon. But again, most neighborhoods will stay rain free. The better opportunity for showers and storms exists Wednesday through Friday, and I am tracking unsettled conditions as we head into the start of the weekend, but we slightly cool things down back into the 80s on Friday. Christy. Good morning.